how, how does the disease progression differ when it's early onset versus typical onset? Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of an open question. People have looked into this a fair bit. There's some evidence, I think it's fairly solid. We have some papers in this domain too, suggesting that if you carry an ApoE4 allele, the one that increases risk for getting the disease in the first place, it probably also speeds the course a little bit. And so when we think about, you know, early onset is arbitrarily defined as symptoms before age 65. You'll see more ApoE4 carriers in that earlier onset group than if you look at 80-year-olds that have Alzheimer's. At some point, we think age begins to trump the genetic risk factors, right? Age itself is, is a very powerful risk factor for Alzheimer's. And so as we get up into our ease, ApoE4 plays less of a role in Alzheimer's than it does in people in their 50s and 60s. So yeah, we'll see more ApoE4 carriers in, in this younger group. And I think the evidence is pretty solid that not only do they get sicker earlier, but their course is probably also revved up a little bit, so, you know, goes a little faster with the ApoE4 allele.